and welcome to Morning File. I'm your host, Emma McCarty, and today I am joined with David Hudson from the Hamilton Arts Council. Uh, so I was actually thinking before uh, we got on here that uh, I think the last time I talked to you, I don't know if we were just kind of under like a veil of ignorance or what was going on, but I think we talked about a lot of um, postponing events and uh, just putting them off until the pandemic was done and those, that kind of right. stuff. And now it's a lot more of adapting and figuring yes. out how things are going to go and it's we're in it for the long haul type of stuff so yeah i, th I think the last time that we that we uh met was around uh hamilton arts week <laughs> which was in the march of yeah. been around the time of, of march 2020 when we were talking about that yeah and everything seemed like a a temporary a temporary diversion yeah yeah no i was definitely under the impression like oh come may we'll be good mm-hmm yeah. So, uh, so what what have you been up to since then? What kind of has the Hamilton Arts Council been doing? Yeah, well, since the uh, since the the sort of pandemic reared its head, I mean, we have had a, a couple of major projects. One of them, obviously, being Arts Week, that was pivoted to an online uh, mm -hmm. format, which was it was really incredible actually to see the uh, artists in the community uh, demonstrate such resilience and creativity in 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 a really quick. Uh, yeah. in a really quick response uh, to sort of turn turn around different projects and presentations to work online and, and that was that was very successful and then uh, around the same time we uh, launched the Hamilton Artist Relief Fund which was really a fundraiser to put money back into the hands of artists who had uh, suffered significant losses through uh, through COVID and uh, and the pandemic so mm -hmm. those so those two projects really carried us right the way through um and then uh yeah and then it's been sort of all uh all steam ahead for the for the literary awards and yeah. we're really excited about that because um the literary awards typically has been an in-person ceremonial event mm -hmm. and last year we uh held the ceremony at uh, theater aquarius and uh and it was a, a packed house and uh, we weren't quite sure how it was going to work this year and gratefully uh, cable 14 have come on board and uh the other presenting sponsor for the for the literary awards yeah yeah that's amazing so it's happening on january 3rd on cable 14 like you said yeah. Um, what is kind of going to be the format for it then? What can people expect? Yeah, so we've tried to we've tried to as best we can recreate the uh, the the legacy of twenty seven years, if you can believe mm -hmm. it, of of literary awards in Hamilton. Uh, we're very grateful to have back uh, Jeff Goods, who uh, who has been uh, the the former MC for the event. Um, and so he will take us through each category. We will um, will hear some of the the judges' feedback uh, on all of the the shortlisted authors and their works, mm. and uh, and in each category, the the winner will be announced, and we'll hear an excerpt read by the by the author of the of the winning book in in each category. That's excellent. I was gonna. One of my questions was going to be, how did the um, judges kind of come to figure out who the finalists will be, but I guess we'll see on the night when they give their recap. Yes, yeah, absolutely. The uh, the adjudicators, the judges are um, from across Canada. We we ship all the books out across Canada, and uh, and then um, they send back all their scores to me, and I put that all together. And so I have all of the I have all <laughs> of the, the details already, and it uh, the inside yeah, scoop. That's it, like my little secret. Yeah. So um, in addition to, so the three main categories then are poetry, nonfiction, and fiction. And then yes. in addition to that, you have the Carey Schooley Book Award. Yes. Um, which is newer than the other categories. Did you want to talk about maybe the meaning behind that one? Yes. So I, uh, so when I joined the Arts Council uh, officially in 2019 to, to work as community engagement officer, I learned about the um, the uh, the literary awards. And at that point, 
they had already established the the Kerry Schooley Book Award. And the focus of the Kerry Schooley Book Award is for the book that is most evocative of Hamilton or, or the greater Hamilton region. Uh, it's named in honor of Kerry Schooley, who was a, a Hamilton-based poet and teacher, publisher, editor, and also a, a nonfiction writer. Um, and he passed away in uh, in 2010. He was a huge advocate for the literary arts in Hamilton, a, a real champion, and uh, and a very well respected and well thought of. And so it's uh, it's great to have this award and uh, recognize both his legacy and also the the ongoing um, legacy of of the Hamilton literary arts community. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure all the finalists are super excited, especially in this type of time, to have their books recognized and acknowledged. Um, I think there's there's four in all the categories except for uh, poetry where you have five finalists. So yep. it'll definitely be uh, exciting to see who wins and I wish all the finalists the best of luck. So I guess my last question then for you is where can people, uh, you said Cable 14, but where can people go to learn more about the event and watch the event? Yes, yeah, so you can certainly learn more about uh, about the event in general, about the Hamilton Literary Awards from the Hamilton Arts Council's uh, website. Uh, as we said, the uh, the event, the results, as it were, will premiere on uh, the on the January third, on the Sunday afternoon, and that will be broadcast live on Cable Fourteen and also Cable Fourteen dot com. So anyone will be able to watch that free, um, and so that will be accessible to everyone, and we'll make sure that that. Uh, that we keep promoting all of that on social media. And if you are unable to tune in on, uh, on the third to watch that, then, uh, then it will be, it will be repeated at different times. I think, uh, Rogers, uh, Rogers subscribers, uh, will have access to watching the, the show on demand as well. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining me to talk about the Hamilton literary awards. Thank you um, so much for having I'm me. I'm excited to see the winners. Yep. Me too. That was David Hudson from the Hamilton Arts Council talking about the upcoming Hamilton Literary Awards happening on January 3rd, 2020. For more information on the Hamilton Literary Awards or for the link to watch on Cable 14, you can click the link below. As always, for more Morning File interviews, you can visit cfmu.ca. 